the Royal Playground on Radio 2000. Ah, this is called uh, the Royal Show Ground, the Royal Play. Do they play it? Playground, yeah. <laughs> the playground. Royal Playground. I just arrived here and then I sauntered in and I'm uh, entering into the Royal <laughs> Playground. My name is Grant Shaquane. Hey, I'm so happy and excited to be here on a Friday afternoon and I'm going to be playing songs that you always loved, you always identified me with and uh, uh, the king is here and he says uh, whatever I want I can do and I want to give you something I mean love yes, it's Radio 2000 our music your memories uh, this is uh, actually you should back announce it that the shock one <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with Lonetta a Holloway given the feel that uh, what we should be sharing all of us you know especially when you are on the royal Playground. playground absolutely <laughs> thank you so much and how are you doing i'm, I'm okay i'm okay I'm, I'm sauntering around you know pushing yes. and, uh, under these uh, crazy circumstances you know, that we all exist you know, in everybody's experienced it so i just had to fit in as well and uh, say, ah, if it's like this then i should be just like whatever it is we've postponed this invitation for a while because of uh, COVID 19 and all mm, of that mm. and uh, i know you look at uh, 29 but you're not 29 no i'm <laughs> double uh, three times or four times four that, times you know, that. something like that <laughs> <laughs> so we couldn't rush it, and we thought we'll do it when the time is right. Yeah. Uh, I must tell you, immediately when Tatisha Gwani walked into the studio, we cleaned this place thoroughly <laughs> to make sure that even the chair you're sitting on M is good enough for you. you know? Exactly. Yeah. You know, because of, uh, uh, you know, as you said, because I'm not as young, old as you think. No, no, you no, know? no. You're not at all. So we'll be having fun today yeah. within Tatisha Gwani. I'm sure you're happy to be having, well, if it's good, it's grand. We're going to have a lot of fun throughout the show. Over somewhere, yes. I'm driving home, uh. and I get home just when I'm about to reach home. And she said, Grant, Grant, you have to come now. Yes. And, two. and I rushed back, I came to the office here, and they, they told me, Look, man, we're in trouble, you have to be you have to manage the station. In the meantime, we're looking for a manager. So, you, you well, appointed yeah, station yeah, manager yeah, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you yeah, an active manager, and I'm a DJ. And you know how difficult it is. These guys work with me. Now I have to manage Hey, it. not oh. so over oh, They would just look at me and say, wow. Do you remember that lineup when you were station manager? Yes, I, I, I still Do you remember do. some of the names? The, the guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were shit at Twala. Who was Lawrence around? Yeah, was, Lawrence was around. Yes. Yeah, Tim Woody's was also there. You know, all the guys. You know, have a boss. Then they did. <laughs> Tim was very supportive. Yeah. And he was really helping me. And then uh, I have to play this thing. Sunday, I, I, I'm a DJ. Yeah. And in the week, I, I, I manage. Yeah. So I, I, I took the thing. I acted and I had this marketing management uh, yes, thing yes. of mine. Yeah. So it stood me in good stead. Uh -huh. And then I, I, I confessed with the advertisers. Ah, it was easy for me. Some of them knew me. You were familiar called, you with, know, with the said, space. What yeah. did you advertise? They said, no, man, you know, the SABC is difficult. They bomb <laughs> our, 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 our concepts and all those. I said, no, now I'm manager here. Yeah, let's Boy, talk. did I pack them? Uh. You know, they, they, they came and advertised and uh, Metro just went up. Wow. Financially, it was just up there and wow. we made money and all those things. Were you in that position for, for quite a while? Yeah, no, I even managed. I, yeah. I became uh, acting and then... When, when they wanted a manager, I had, uh, uh, you also, applied. I applied. Yes. And then they took me. Wow. Because I was already used with it. That's amazing. And, I was already and people don't know that part of your story, you know, that you were once then, a then station then manager. Over. When I became a manager, I called all the advertisers, managers outside, all the agencies, all the clients. I told them, come here, let me talk to you. Mm. And we packed here. There's a little place right down there. Yes. And we packed it. And then I introduced myself and I told them, now, it's a new era. Mm. I'm here. I've got a marketing experience. I know advertising. Yes. Now, don't fear. Send the business. Let's talk. And they just overwhelmed the station. And that's how I used to run things, you know. But but I had a great time. Mm. You know, it was nice. And guys, well, they were difficult. You know, you can't, you can't manage your, your, hey, your, your peers. Now, you're now, you're, yeah, you're now. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that, you know? And you, at some point, as you put it, at some point you were doing your show. And also managing as well. Yeah, managing as and well. it wasn't easy because you, you had to speak to them at different levels exactly. as well. It was very difficult. Wow. Our but, competition, but, uh, uh, sorry, you can go ahead. Yeah, it, it was easy. I met it, in, I was very energetic. Mm. You know, I, I, I was, I wanted action and I did this. <laughs> but then, as manager, because I was, I was a you know, fitness fanatic, yeah. I was not 
be able to train now. Hey. I balloon to about two, 200, 200 kilos. Yeah. No, that's too much. Yeah, it I can't be. <laughs> you no, became, no, no, because I couldn't, I couldn't You didn't have time off. anymore. No, I think 100. Not yeah, 200, see, 100, 100 yeah. yeah. 100, because I was at a 70 something. Oh, yeah, yeah see. Then I went to 100. Yeah. And then I was fed. Yeah. I was wearing a suit and yeah. meetings, you know. At the meeting, there's a breakfast meeting, there's lunch meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would pump in and eat. And <laughs> But what a time. That was the other side. But the other side, you know, I managed. I yeah. did a good job, you know. And, uh, yeah, until, until I, I... And then when I left the be manager, mm. I still kept my... my, my, my oh, my, your show. My show. Yes. You know? So I continued my show. And to me, it was like, uh, the best thing happened now. I've got my show back. I'm all right. During the week, I'll run. Yes. And, I'll and then you lost team. that weight again. You know, I lost that weight. <laughs> I became fine, you know. Yes. <laughs> We're about to go in. It's after two for our competition. All right. And uh, what yes. I will say is that you can come with your two first. No, no, no. We play one, one. Oh, and then we one, take one. the calls. Oh, and then, then we take go. the calls. Yes. All right. So, so I'm going to play a... Uh, this is a song that I play all the time. Uh you know, I wrote the, your list. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. I want to go first, if you don't mind. Okay. Is that first. okay? And now the question is, you tell me which one do you want to go with on uh, on the list that uh, you had recommended? Okay. I'll, I'll, play, uh, I'll get in with Teddy. With Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah. Uh, uh, Teddy Pendergrass, uh, the song, this one's for you. Yep. All right. Mine is uh, Age of Miracles by uh, Dionne Warwick. Okay. I hope I hope that's okay. Okay, we're come. starting here. Here yeah, it is. Start there. I must admit, though, I'm jealous of Teddy Pendergrass. It's a great <laughs> song. <laughs> I think it's the first time you're in trouble. Shibaba do shibaba <laughs> for the time of your life and the life of your time. <laughs> I'm wearing a blue shirt. It's a blue top. It's a cold, cold day today, so I woke up and uh, I put on this shirt. <laughs> And I felt cold. <laughs> then I put on a jersey. And I felt more cold. Then I put on another jersey. So, boy. Oh, oh, guest oh boy. It's unbelievable. It's, to join us. <laughs> it's out of this world. It's out of this world. The <laughs> meter is age. You know this. Oh, right? is this so? Okay, we build up things and build up, you know, promotions and running around. And boy, hey. they see meticulous. I know. Yo, we know yo, all about yo, it. Nigga, I better suit you, man. London. I win the prize, we steady winners, London. Can I let? I run a deal with everything. You know, transport, bookings, and you know, or I should be so. I run everything. Really, about the winners. Let's control again. This is age. Hi. How's your morning? My morning is sorry, fine. Sorry, my brain is still... Morning and afternoon. <laughs> my <beautiful. laughs> my yeah. brain is still weird. Uh, yes. it, 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 this, what memory do you have to share with us here, Dr. Chagwan? I can imagine you have hundreds of memories. Wow. This is You worked with uh, uh, Dr. Chagwan for a very, very long time. Very long time. What, what yeah. stands out? Yeah. What do you remember? Uh, what I remember, incidentally, you interviewed uh, Ubabu Mungema. Yes, Mungu yes. Mungema. And the stimulus says all a song yeah. that he loved passionately. <laughs> he used to play the song, <laughs> and he he described he gave that pictorial view on yeah. radio mm -hmm. to say you imagine Ungema mm -hmm. as a Kenya benebruko atamaya kama uto alimuset. He used to do that. <laughs> he did that, and it yeah. took you to Ungema, um, coming from um, Deben, coming here, you know, and was scared, that and that oh. Yeah. Yes, yes. Wow. Oh, those were the times. Oh, great times. Wonderful man. times. The road was great that yeah, time. And wonderful everything times. Was, you won't believe what Utomi the guy was. She ran the stage, ran. Yeah. I go running the station again. The first person I met when I came to SABC, I was invited by Romeo Kumalo for, for a quick chat. Yeah. It had nothing to do with uh, joining Metro or anything. I was a, 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 uh, a columnist. I used to write for City Press at the time. And Romeo called me for, for a meeting. And the first person I met at SABC was, that, uh, yeah. it was uh, uh, SSH. She's the one that came and fetched me from reception. And she gave me a hat and a cap. And, and she still does the same even now. <laughs> you just got goodies from already. So you won't believe it. You know, she's been working and she's, been re she's, she's radio. Yeah. Uh, because Utomile Metro, Utomile. Yeah. You know, because 
we started nothing. There was nothing. Uh, so they said, make a radio station. Yeah. And of course, I told him she was here. When were you hired? Good, 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 good Metro uh, uh, Cessation. Uh, Metro had just turned to Radio Metro. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. just turned to. Two. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's and they I called you up and you yeah. came yeah. in. Yeah, and, and the team then, it was a complement of 12 presenters. Yeah. yeah. And they did everything. I mean, I remember it was during the apartheid uh, era yeah. where Timothy Ngudise stayed in Pretoria. Mm. So he used to come and sleep under the desk at K2 Studios to Jeez. wait for the next show. Because traveling home is traveling expensive. Traveling home, no, you were not allowed to be in the streets. Oh, not, of course, not it was too late to go. Yeah, yeah it was too late, late to go home. To so he didn't have anyone he knew in and around yeah. uh, Open yes. Park. And when I just came, it was... Um, um, I met a team that was bringing Millie Jackson for an interview at the mm. SABC, and black people then were not allowed to walk through the, the, the reception, entrance. Yeah, the this, reception, this reception was, we was, used to, was black back, had to use gate entrance. number 10. Yeah. So Millie Jackson said, it ain't going to happen. I'm, I'm going. going. She in. didn't do the interview. Yeah. She didn't do the interview. She didn't do the interview. Because they refused to enter gate number 10. Yeah. yeah. No, they refused the presenters, yeah. the black oh. presenters, to fetch her from the main entrance. So then, oh, then amazing. you know, she said, you know what, it's been real. She left. And we, we take these things for granted now. Yeah, right? and I see you walking, wait you know. See, wait, wait, see. Yeah, wait, Like you're walking the ramp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to go back. <laughs> and gate number, number 10. 10. Yes, yeah. yes. I still use gate number 10, though. Out of habit, it's peaceful. I guess. No, it's peaceful. It is, yeah. The shenanigans, I don't see you, you guys. You don't see us. <laughs> yeah, no. It's you just slip out. Yeah, yeah, slip slip out. out. <laughs> we fought for freedom. Mm -hmm. We won. I know. You can come in. <laughs> no, it's peaceful. I, I, I don't have to be stopped you. by Wally Sadie for the autograph <laughs> and all. So I just come in and out. No, and, you in know. and out right yeah. That is so true. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you so much for, for this uh, brief visit and, and so to come and say hi to you. The, <laughs> because I didn't expect you. <laughs> I, I think I talked about it. You did. Yeah, and yeah, a legend doesn't walk in and out unnoticed. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And we bless that he's still alive. It's still and, strong. And very, going very strong. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I love how the listeners still have kept that memory of mm. what you did. Yeah. So we really, really want to thank you on behalf of the SABC, on behalf of us as black people. Mm. Because as a people, if we don't look where we're coming from to inform where we are going and acknowledge great talent, mm. you know, we, we will not achieve whatever we want we said we said we said we lost yeah. and it's lost. because of this young man <laughs> uh, pushes me into areas where I didn't even know yes. so I put him on, I put him on stage once so yeah. he knows yeah. he knows yeah. these things <laughs> life, eh? yeah. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you very much thank you very so much thank you <laughs> Thank you. Wow. We did it. We did Actually, it. Actually, here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a, a, a myth that uh, people have been, but Lima Sambo. Yes. People, different people claim to have hired Eddie Zondi to SABC. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can, I can straighten up that. Please, yeah. I'm it out. You, you want I, to? Uh, yeah. Yes. This, yeah. So this by is the time, uh, <laughs> we, we had a promotion in Soweto, mm -hmm. and I was, uh, I was acting, I think. Yeah. I was acting, but I, I still had my show. Mm -hmm. And then this young... Mm. Little Scottish guy comes and says, They told him that I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, manager. There. Yeah, oh. So, yeah, he just hung around the, 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 the place there. And then they told him, When when I came, I drove from, from Mamelodi. Mm. When I arrived, he said, Hey, put, put Grant, where's some food? Some food we teach So I said, No, man, I'm, and there's no space and all this. I just dismissed him. Yeah. Mm. And then he left. You, you dismissed him? Yeah, Eddie slightly. Zondi? He didn't see it. <laughs> but I just said, hey, we not any man. it was my time. Yeah, oh, to go funny. on. Yeah, yeah, to go on. Mm -hmm. He hung outside. He just stayed. I pushed my show. After the show, I found him there. Mm -hmm. And then I said, I, 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 <laughs> the best thing, it, the niggas have phone numbers and everything. Who was the M17? We were in Saturday. Yeah. The show went. Monday he was here. Waiting. Yeah, and the, mm -hmm. uh, the, um, um, my secretary was uh, uh, Peggy. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, Peggy was yes, my secretary. Yeah, she's Peggy. And then Peggy no. says, hey, He's a uh, somebody wants people. you there. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants you there. There's a woo. But there's a young man there who wants you. He says, he, you said you must come. Yeah. Then I said, ah, Peggy, come Yeah. When he fetches the Zondi, Zondi comes in and says, sit down, he 
tells me stories, how he passionately likes radio and all those things. Mm-hmm. He works somewhere there. He's sort of a, I think he was announcing a shop. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southgate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he worked at Southgate yeah, yeah. Radio. Okay. And then he said, no. Um, but he said, no, man, I want, I want to be a DJ. And I said, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. Mm. And the question I was uh, uh, general manager. Yeah. You know, hey, this guy phones me on Wednesday. Phones me on Friday. <laughs> then I went to go, he goes, I don't know what to do, man. But you know, Exane, mm-hmm. we can still 30 minutes here. It's for the room for him, man. He's, we are two. We are two, man. <laughs> and of course, I can't, you're a manager there. Well, if you can squeeze in. So I had to take 30 minutes out of uh, a guy's three hours. Yeah. I came in and said two and a half. And then took 30. At about four. Four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Four to four thirty. Yeah. So four eight. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he pushed there. Uh, pushed 30 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know what happened there. There was a, a reshuffling. And then he got an hour. Okay. And then he would come at five to six. Okay. Five to six. He pushed at five to six. Five Amazing. To six. And, then, and then he just went on and went mm. on, went on. And, and then he got tired. And then he goes, tell me, is, is everything all right? Like, isn't it? And then, no, ah, it's working. You know, that guy is there. And he's good. Mm. And he's dedicated. Yeah. And he loves the job. And all those. He worked that hour for about, I think, a year or a year and a half. Mm-hmm. And he was doing one hour. Mm-hmm. And then from there on, he just grew. You know, things change in the station, and there's Eddie going, there's Eddie going, mm-hmm. there's Eddie going, and then he became Mammoth. The mm-hmm. next thing, Eddie was like, the biggest thing in the radio. Everybody he had people, you know, <laughs> <laughs> members of parliament would call, <laughs> and they want this music on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Eddie was there, and all, but but what, what makes me laugh was when when Eddie uh, left us mm. when he died. Mm. Everybody claimed to have hired him. I already know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, everybody. everybody loves the winner. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah everybody. Yeah. I, I just kept going. And then uh, Glenn phoned me. Yeah. And said, hey, Grant, I want to interview you, man. What, what about Eddie's thing? And I said, ah, no, leave. Yeah. You know, it was flying. The people were saying, mm. uh, they brought him in what? <laughs> I just kept quiet. Yeah, so said, no. You're so right, Susan. Yeah. Everybody loves the winner. I just left it, you know. Winner. Yeah. Mm. And I just, ah. People, yeah, the people you've, done, you've done well for, yeah, for South African man, Radio. Yeah, I, did, I did it for him and 